Hey Japs, how's it going? Today I'll be showing you a really cool map that just dropped on console. That's right. If you guys have Skater XL, you guys could play this map right now, whether you're on PC or on your PlayStation, your Xbox, not the Switch, but everything else is available. All right, so basically what you want to do is go to your mod browser and here it is skate park of tampa 2021 pro course by easy day studios so i did play this map the other day and honestly i was having a really rough time <laughs> yeah but anyways today we're actually going to be getting a few tricks Ooh. And I'll also be showing you a really quick overview of the map. It's not the largest map by any means, but it is pretty fun, I must admit. Now the surprising thing about this map is that it actually was not announced for a while. It actually dropped beforehand. Usually Skater XO would really hype it up, especially a map. And in this case, it wasn't really hyped up, it just kind of dropped. Now I must admit, Easy Day Studios has had a lot of trouble with communication in the past. Honestly, I thought they were getting their act right. Realistically, I think they're still slacking on that communication part. Oh man. You know what guys, I'm actually gonna switch it up. So right now I am playing on hardcore, but I do want to switch it. So usually I play on tweak because it makes things a lot more easier just to kind of hop on. Default is basically a floaty thing. I'm gonna go with tweak for now because I cannot get on these rails <laughs> at all. So right now it is a little floaty, but you know what? It's all right. Ooh. Cause yeah, basically like if you were to get it on console, you're gonna have that kind of floaty vibe, but in argument, it would help you get onto obstacles and all that good stuff. Oh! So right now, the overview is, you know, it's basically the Tampa map, which is freaking awesome. Here's these little ledges. I actually didn't even notice them until right now. Damn, that's actually really cool. A kink rail. We have like an A-frame. This looks really cool. It's like a Euro with the freaking rail on the side. I guess these little ledges, I would assume they are skatable. It looks like you could also creep up through here and hit that. Let's do that in a bit. We got these benches on the side. I'm really hoping that everything is flying, meaning that you could grind everything. There's stairs up here. I'm not sure if you could hit this, but I'm assuming you can. We got some benches up here. Nothing too out of the ordinary. These ledges look cool, but it looks really crammed up here. So it's not the biggest map, but as you can notice, like there are fans and like little moving objects, which I think is super cool. From what I know of, Skater XO hasn't dropped anything like that. So I feel like this is a good addition to their maps. But yeah, with that being said, let's just skate them out. Now I must admit, they get used to playing hardcore, so it is a bit tricky getting used to playing it otherwise. If you guys want to see a video of me struggling for my first time playing on hardcore settings, I'll leave my video up here. Ooh, check this out guys. <laughs> what the heck? Let's see if we can hit this ledge real quick. First, let's get this. As you guys can see, the transition is a bit funky. We ain't worried about that for now. Alright, I do want to see this if this is gonna work. Maybe like a kickflip blunt? That was tight. Man, I keep getting into this style. Come on, I got this. If I get it right here, you guys have to like with me. Yeah. Going all slow and shit. Nah, hell no, we ain't taking none of that. Woo! Oh, man, this is difficult. I don't know if this is actually. I don't know if this is actually meant to skate, but this is sick, actually. I'll take that, man. That was a lot more difficult than I thought. I mean, I guess the cool thing about this map is that you can basically get lines here. For the people that don't really know what that means, basically like a line is just a set of tricks that you would do. So instead of just doing like single tricks that are amazing to look at, <laughs> you would basically skate the course and like a line, you'll basically do tricks back to back. Basically like a run, that's what they're called. Whoa. 
so I myself aren't the greatest at doing lines or anything like that but I feel like this video game definitely encourages that or at least this map definitely encourages that for instance let's just try to get a line let's do a front smith maybe front side flip Ooh. nollie tray butter kickflip and switch front side heel damn big spin switch tray Biggie flip. Come on, bro. By the way, if you guys have any trick requests, make sure you guys drop those in the comments below. I'm more than happy to try your trick out. Hopefully, I can land it, especially. I mean, the cool thing about that is that you will be featured in my next videos, which I am planning on dropping a new video every Friday. By the way, I do want to reiterate that I am using mods as I'm playing right now. If you guys do have a PC and you guys are curious on how to actually install mods, and don't actually have it i'll leave my video up here it's super easy to do and as time progresses i'll also be dropping updated videos just to make sure that everything flows good damn that'll be sick check this out guys it was kind of funky <laughs> didn't really want to hit this rail i wonder if you could take it all the way i mean if we're gonna do something really cool let's do a kick with x one Funky, but yo, that was pretty tight. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. I wasn't really digging playing on tweak. So we're just gonna change it back up. Let's hit hardcore once again. Press X so we could have a new skateboard. And let's run this once again. So basically when you play on hardcore, what changes is that you don't really get that much of a height. As skaters will call it, you want to get that much pop. Funky. And you also have to manually catch your tricks, which makes it that much more difficult. So if you were to flip into something, oh, you got to catch it with your analog sticks. By the way, you guys can practice that and make your tricks look a lot cooler by just literally clicking your analog stick. <laughs> so for instance, your back foot, you would click the right stick and your front foot, you would click the front stick. You could also catch them simultaneously. Ooh. I guess the cool thing about playing on hardcore is that you won't catch every freaking trick. Sometimes they rotate differently, flip slower. Makes it a whole lot more challenging, but I feel like it just makes the game a whole lot more fun. And of course, a lot more realistic. This kind of goes to another topic that I know Skater XO is dropping maps right now. They're also doing that object dropper. So honestly, I feel like this just kind of speculates that hopefully they wouldn't be too far from dropping a stat to you. I know a lot of people have been bugging them for a super long time. I feel like the more we just bug, yo, like they're bound to do it. I sure hope so, cause it's been a minute. They even started like a petition and things. If I can find it, I'll drop it right here. They did a petition, they reached like 15,000 signatures. Skater XL don't care, bro. The weird part is that, uh, it's weird that they wouldn't care, you know? It's like, they need money, they need the funding. And honestly, it just makes the game a whole lot cooler. As my friend Sam said, he was basically like, yo, like, if it's not their vision, why would they do it? You know, sometimes people just hold on to their vision of a great game. But realistically, it's a mediocre game. With mods, bro, that thing be schmacking. So, I don't know what the heck they're doing, to be honest. But, I mean, they're dropping maps. We still have a modern community on PC. But what really bugs me is that console just doesn't have it. I want equal rights, you know? Like, I want all you guys to enjoy this sick-ass game with mods. Or with tweaks in the game. I just want this game to be as realistic as possible. Maybe my vision is just a lot larger than what the studio has. But, I don't care, man. Like, I am really passionate about this game with mods. It is completely different than the vanilla gameplay. Than the vanilla XL. I mean, it just is. It is completely different. The sounds are a whole lot cooler. The physics are a whole lot cooler. The clothing is a whole lot cooler. The freaking maps are amazing. Bro, Skater XL is schlippin'. They are on some other bullshit. I don't even know why. 
But hey, I'm an optimistic person, so I really hope they do drop a stats menu in the near future. Once they do, yo, they're gonna be on. Now if they don't, it could be really detrimental, I must admit, at least for console users. I feel like on console, I mean, you get a very limited amount of maps, gear, and things that you can do. I mean, there's really not much you can do in this game. There aren't really that many challenges. There's no story mode. It's basically, honestly, in my opinion, it's an unfinished game that they just dropped and rushed it. But hey man, that's not to say that they're not gonna continuously improve this game and make it work. I sure do hope this company is successful. I would not put any hate on a company that... I wouldn't put any hate on anybody, you know? Like, realistically, I'm not saying it just to be a dickhead or nothing like that. It's just like, that's just how I passionately feel. And I know thousands of other people that play this game feel the exact same way. So, yeah, I know for sure I'm not alone on this. Hey, but anyways, enough of my rant. I mean... Guys, check out this map. It's pretty sick. That's all I wanted to really do in this video. Let's do a kickflip backflip. Kick back to. <laughs> that was weird. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you guys smash that like button. Turn on those notification bells. I am planning on dropping a video every Friday. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already done so. I appreciate the support. I appreciate you guys' comments. Like, bro, I'd be reading them. It's not many <laughs> yet. But, like, I freaking appreciate you guys taking the time to actually watch this video. The really cool thing is that my goal is to just reach 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Right now we're on October. It's super cool that I actually reached my goal. And, I mean, I'm exceeding it, you know? So, let's just might as well continue going. Until then, peace.